I recently published a video showing a cyber attack vector on a gas station inventory system. I wanted to show you that an attacker can gain access to the device with simple technical means. Today I will give you a breakdown and explain the steps of the attacker. Hi, my name is Marcel Rickzen and I'm an OT security consultant with a master's degree in automation engineering. I usually do all the attacks in my ICS home lab against real industrial hardware. But a monitoring system from Vida Root would be too cumbersome and I analyzed a honeypot as an alternative. This was developed as part of a study to better understand the attack landscape on such systems. And you can find the study in the video description. As always, if you want to support me, subscribe to the channel and share this video. Okay, before we get started, give me 30 seconds to tell you about practical industrial control system penetration testing. I have created this course to teach you pen testing on simulated industrial controllers. This means you can get started right away and don't have to buy expensive hardware or attend expensive, boring seminars. After you have learned the basics and set up your virtual lab, you will deepen your skills with the pen test tool step by step in five attack scenarios. And after that, the final challenge awaits you to prove your skills. Link to the course is in the video description. The attacker starts with a ping scan using the Nmap tool. A ping scan is used to determine which hosts are alive on a network by sending an ICMP echo request to each host and waiting for a response. Two alive hosts were found here and the first host is scanned for open ports. Two open TCP ports were found and port 10001 is examined more closely with the Nmap version detection. The version detection is complete and Nmap could not draw any conclusions about the running service on this port. The attacker then starts an OSINT search for a TCP IP interface communicating on port 10001 and finds out that this port might be used by the TCP IP interface of the VIDA root gas station monitoring system. The manual explains that the Telnet service runs on this port and that a certain control character must be written for each interaction. Next, the attacker starts an Nmap script scan to extract more information from the target host. The script scan is complete and Nmap was able to retrieve tank inventory data from the target host. This makes it clear to the attacker that the target is indeed a gas station monitoring system and a Telnet connection to the target can be established. The attacker starts a Telnet connection to the target port and sends several function codes. Function code I200100 can be used to display the current inventory data and thus also to verify the functionality of the Nmap script. I200200 outputs the delivery report. I200300 displays the status of the tank leakage monitoring. Code I200400 returns a report of the current shift. And I200500 displays the current status. The now following function codes can be used to change the name of the stored products. The function code starts with S602 followed by the associated tank number. With this the attacker overrides the product names with a nice message for my viewers. Attacking this honeypot was a lot of fun and I learned a lot about the vulnerabilities of this device. Do you want to try for yourself? You can attack this honeypot in section 8 of my course Practical Industrial Control System Penetration Testing. And if you use the link below, you receive a massive discount. Thank you so much for watching. Support me with a subscription and share this video. And if you like, consider supporting me on Patreon with a coffee.